You can't buy a steel copy. Yes, I'm inside Ferguson's office. Great job. Now, Proxima wants you to gather all the intel possible on Supercontinent LTD Executive Board. Look for a computer or a data terminal and connect yourself to it. Okay. Hmm. Uh... What's the matter? This guy doesn't own a computer. Maybe this? What do you see? A device I've never encountered before. I'm sending you some images. Holy shit, that's a landline telephone. I heard some underground groups still use them because they're so obsolete. We hackers don't have the tools to hack them. And they're right. Don't panic. I'll look for a manual online and tell you how to proceed. We still got this. Okay, I'll get comfortable then. Right. According to the manual, yes, the top hole is the earphone. And you're supposed to speak through the lower one. So this is some sort of communication device. Exactly. You have to input an address using the numpad keys. Or number keys on your keyboard. When you enter nine digits, it'll automatically try to connect with that address. Cool. Is that it? Yeah, if you mistake a digit, you can reset the number by pressing backspace on your keyboard. So I'm gonna have to speak with some fellas. Luckily, I brought with me my phone mod, with which I can impersonate any voice if I have enough data. I brought Adrian Ferguson's voice installed on it. But you bring that? Just in case there were some voice-protected devices. I'm a professional. I like to make my time worth your money. Coxima is very proud of you, Grant Eyes. So what number do I call? I've checked the city's central phone system and there is nothing online about supercontinent LTD landline addresses. What? More bad news? Tonight at 2 a.m. our historical landline network will be disconnected permanently due to lack of fuse. Thank you very much to the last romantics who have been sending love and hope for this old system, central phone system. That's in a few hours. So this is a one-shot operation against the clock, huh? No problem. Okay, I'll take a look around and see what I can get. It's a phone directory. But all the pages have been torn off. It looks like a note from Ferguson's secretary. It says, your wife called. I hope you didn't forget the number again. 555-693030. Hmm. It may come in handy. from Supercontinent LTD. Supercontinent LTD Technical Office for VIP clients 555-464-032. Also there is number 555-997331. I can dig this. Best Chief Financial Officer 2101. It looks heavy. This can really hurt someone if thrown at high speed. Mm, okay, that was a weird thought. Proxima hired me to ID the top members of Supercontinent LTD. I'm at Adrian Ferguson's office. I can impersonate him. adopted the ID of Adrian Ferguson. Let's call the tech office. You've called for the content of 
TV technical. We clearly pronounce your client security word. I love supercontinent. I love supercontinent. I'm sorry, that key doesn't exist in my database. Have a good day. Technical office needs password. Maybe Vega knows something. Do you need anything? That'll be all. Back to work. Nice, good luck. Let's call the number on the window. Decided on what? No, wait. What do you want? I said terms are non negotiable. Phone operation CSJ. If a single cop dies tonight, your wife will die too. Did you say postpone, not abort? Exactly. I'm all for supercontinent cause, but CSJ can't happen tonight. Why? Sorry, but this is bigger than us. Who are you? Come again, are you in shock? You'll forgive me, but we executives have a hard time remembering non-executive people. I'm Barbara, one of the supercontinent reporters. Barbara who? Listen, I don't care for your incompetence. Do as I said, or kiss your wife goodbye. Let's see if we can find out about Barbara. Do you need anything? What info can you find on Barbara? Any other useful data? She's supposed to be an enforcer at Supercontinent LTD. Okay, let me check. Check note, Barbara line 26. Enforcer at Supercontinent LTD, as you said. She's been working there for three years. Ascended quickly up the ranks. The police department has an extensive file on her, and wow. What? She's related to the chief of the home. She's related to the chief of the homicide division. She's her daughter. And she's working for a criminal corporation, huh? In any case, look if you can find some medical data on her. That way I'll be able to impersonate her with the Vomond. On it. Gotcha, Chris Fantastic, thank you very much. You need anything? It'll be all. Back to work. Nice, good luck. Let's impersonate her. Let's... let's call her. Barbara, this is the voice of your conscience. What the fuck? Tell me all your secrets, and I will let you sleep at night. I don't know what kind of trick is this, you fucked up supercontinent psycho, but it won't work. You have until midnight. Let's talk to Ferguson as Barbara. You decided? Barbara, you know we've been playing with the SJ for years. We can't just let this go. Tell me your password and I'll spare your wife. My password, you say? Yes, the one for Supercontinent's technical office for VIP clients. save my father's life, at least give me a chance of doing so myself. Your wife will get to live, and I'll make it look like I broke into your office and stole your password. Yeah, but... 
what your wife's life is not even worth a little shame on you for accidentally leaking a password? safely to your home tomorrow morning. I also recommend you to unplug this line from the network. Why? I don't want you plotting with your colleagues. I'll be calling every now and then to check if your phone is online. If I hear a single tone, your wife is dead, are we clear? Understood. Have a good night. With Ferguson's password, Let's call tech support. You've called to the continent, all to the technical. Please clearly announce your client security to us. And I am. Connect in with the continent CTO office. Please wait. How's CSJ coming along? I can't understand why I'm nervous. I'd lie if I said no. Who came up with the name, by the way? The boss told me that how you can't say it in school. The most simple justice. It's nice, yeah, but why simple? Still simple. sound all that democratic. Yeah, you're right, Francis. Can you give me our CEO's number? I need to make a consultation about tonight's operation. Just to be sure you know, being the last night for the landline. Francis, I'm calling from the city's central phone system. Good night, how may I help? 
Good night, sir. As you know, all services will be discontinued tonight. Are you the owner of this line? I call you to confirm that you are aware of a 900,000 credits fine applied to landline owners who haven't properly cancelled their accounts. Calm down, sir. I'm calling you to check if you are willing to fill a voice form to properly cancel the line and, of course, avoid the fine. It's easy. Just answer a few questions to fill the form with your personal data, and that'll be all. Full name? Age? I found them. I'm updating the database. Company? Full name of the CEO of the company? I may have pushed it too much time to bail. Don't worry, sir. I'll look it up. Thank you for your cooperation. Radhika. Let's see if Vega has anything to say. You need anything? What info can you find on Clyde? It's supercontinent LTD Clyde. I don't need to do a search for that, he's pretty famous. Oh yeah? I don't have a pleasure. Clyde, to mock her. 45 Enforcer. He's some sort of hack of all trades, hitman, transporter, cleaner, and a demolitions expert. Sounds like a good friend to count with. Yeah, but be careful with him, he's really sharp tempered. Gotcha. What about the Vomod data? I'm sorry. Clyde is a ghost for a system. He doesn't have any medical records to hack. We'll have to do without impersonating him. Mm, okay. Thank you. Do you need anything? Any ideas? Damn, Brandeis. We're the ones who hired you to sort that out. Keep in mind that having new information and open new paths in the conversation you've already tried. Be like a good salesman, be persistent. Also remember that I can give you until backup. If you have any lead on someone, I can look it up online. Do you need anything? That'll be all. Back to work. Nice. Good luck. It's time to talk to Clyde. Let us start as Barbara. Hey. How's CSJ going? Expected. Give me your data and Brian's data so I can try to pull off a bureaucracy trick and get you a life's insurance for your families and the company. Are you serious? Go 
cool down and acknowledge this is for the best in case something happens. This will also cover injury, so if you don't die, you may rehab some juicy benefits. Think of Brian's family too. Full names, age, and medical DBID. I'm quite a maker, 45, but I don't have a DBID. Okay, I'll sort out the medical DBID thing. And Brian, Zack, 25, don't know I've met DBID. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'll get back to you as soon as I get an update on the mission. You better, Adrian. About the bombs, when are you going to detonate them? You tell me we've been waiting for you to send up the code for ages. What happened to your home line? Why aren't you supposed to be there? It broke down. I came to the office as soon as I could when I found out. Okay, give me codes. Oh shit, I'm very sorry. I completely forgot about them. Are you fucking kidding me? We're in the middle of shit down here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm having a terrible night. My wife has been kidnapped. Are you serious? Man, I don't want to sound insensitive. Pay the ransom or whatever, but we need the fucking codes. Shit, Clyde, you are heartless. Okay, where are the codes supposed to be? I swear I'm gonna punch you in the face when this is over. The codes are on your phone safe lock in your office. And how do I access it? Listen, Adrian, I can't have you losing your mind here. Not tonight. You put your fucking code in the very phone you're using to speak with me. And what was that code? I cannot fucking believe it, Adrian. How should I know? Fuck. Okay, okay, calm down. I'll ask Francis and see. You're going to pay for this. Call me as soon as you get the fucking code. Let's see if Vega knows anything. Do you need anything? Do you know what a phone safe lock is? Nope, sorry, but Supercontinent City only. Make sure you know. You're right, thanks. Do you need anything? That'll be all. Back to work. Nice, good luck. We're gonna call tech support again. I need access to my phone safe lock. See, the thing is that I forgot the code and I need it to get the detonation codes. I'm sorry. and the rest are almost convinced. But before proceeding any further, I want to make sure this is all worthy. Is my wife okay? As long as you need your hand up that wheel, yes. I need to be sure. Can I ask her something? What is it? I want her to tell me her birth date. She'll know. Her birth date? Please, this is important. Ah, Christ. Okay, give me a sec. Together, 2016, 21, 175.
what do we have here? What is the gray stuff? What's the brown stuff? I want that stuff. Hmm. Zero, 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 five, 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 zero, eight, zero. So I can set up a bomb calling to this number, huh? Well, let's see what happens. some serious technology. We're talking World War Free Band stuff here. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, Grandpa's. Excuse me? I'm sorry, Beauty. You truly are a professional, but Proxima only hired you to get the access code to this little toy. A freelancer's life really sucks, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. You know, this business, no hard feelings. It's all yours, Detective Fushida. Keep it in check while I download all the useful data from this brain drive of my neural disruptor. Fuck me if I don't hate neural disruptors. They're just so unethical. Okay, so... Yoshida. Uh, I guess we knocked this weird guy out with a piece of paper. I'm sorry, Vega. You know how a freelancer's life works. Paper cut of death. Call Centauro. Good night. As requested, I discovered who was the Proxima Mole inside the city police. You know where to wire the thumbs. As for Supercontinent LTD Orbital Bomber, that'll cost you extra. And that was it. Supercontinent LTD, thank you for playing. The Construct Team.